and Stacy agree. Sometimes it's the audience. I feel that some aren't qualified to judge. Um, it's a, it is a tricky one, you know, who's qualified to judge a picture. And in a way, we don't get to say now, OK, it's one thing if you are putting it into a specific competition, a high um, prestige competition where the judges are all learned people in photography, then yes, they are going to be judging a whole bunch of different criteria. General public, do they have a right to judge your photography? Well, tough, they do. You know, if you put if you put your picture into an online forum for people to look at and to judge, it gets judged. And we can get annoyed that, you know, our brilliantly crafted, fantastically honed photo um, edited to perfection isn't doing very well. And someone's clumsy photo of a cat uh, or kitten that's a bit out of focus is doing really well because it's got the emotional hit uh, rather than the technical expertise. But kind of that's the way the world is. We, we, I don't think I don't think it's right to I don't think we can really sit on our high horse and slam people for not liking our work. <laughs> I think what we have to do is we have to find the right audience for our work because it doesn't matter what you do. Some people are going to like it and some people are not. You know, if I took slightly out of focus pictures of kittens, but they looked cute. I'm sure I could get a lot of likes for them. Now, I wouldn't win camera club competitions with them, um, but I could do very well on the online competition. You know, cer certain websites where that kind of thing will do really well. So it's about really knowing your audience. Now, if you have a desire to pursue excellence in photography, then hang around in the places where excellence in photography is valued. And that's the real key thing, where you're placing it again. You know, we I can shove up my, <laughs> I've talked before many times, I can shove up my most honed, most planned, my favourite photo ever, the photo that took six months in the planning, two days in the execution, three weeks in the editing. I think it's the masterpiece of all masterpieces and I'll get 20 likes on Facebook. I put up, put up a quick selfie of me and my daughter having a cup of coffee in a cafe. I get over 200. Does that mean the photo I took of my daughter in the cafe is a superior quality photo? No, what it means is the audience for Facebook is acting on a social level, not on a learned photography critique level. So there's no point in me getting upset if my photo isn't doing well on Facebook, because in the end, Facebook, generally speaking, isn't my audience. Um, but it is the audience for selfies with my daughter. So understanding where you place your images and understanding who's judging them I, I think really helps then in terms of your own self-confidence, because this is the problem. We put the photo in the wrong place, get the wrong kind of judgments, and then we beat ourselves up because we didn't get the response we wanted. So understanding that, I think, is really key to moving forward. So anyway, thanks for that point, Stacey, because it has just sort of made me raise that point. If you found this useful, let your friends know and hit subscribe.